Now your food marble has arrived, we'll show you how to get it up and running. The food marble device is an FDA approved clinical device which allows you to check for the presence of SIBO when linked to your human people account. First, you'll receive an email like this from your doctor. You then need to click the accept link and follow the account setup in order for your data to be sent for analysis once you're all set up. Let's take a look at what you'll receive inside the box. On the top layer, you'll find a quick start guide, the food marble device, an instruction manual, carrying pouch, and USB charging cable. On the layer below, you'll have further information on the six-week discovery plan, and lactose, fructose, sorbitol, and inulin sachets. We suggest charging your device before moving on to the next step. The light on the device will show green once fully charged. You can download the Food Marble app from both the Apple App Store and Google Play Store, depending on your mobile device. Make sure you download the Blue app. Follow the instructions and log in using the account details that you previously created. You can now connect your Food Marble device by following the on-screen instructions. There are a few things you need to do in order to prepare. 24 hours before your test, you must not consume any alcohol. Only eat plain foods such as meat, fish, eggs, firm tofu and white rice. And avoid foods such as onion, garlic, beans and pulses, high lactose dairy, soft drinks and grains. You can find more about these foods within the app. 12 hours before, you need to fast, only drinking water and make sure your food mobile device and phone are fully charged. Wake up at least one hour before you take the test. Clean your teeth and be careful not to swallow any toothpaste and do not use mouthwash. You should not smoke or exercise before or during the test. You can take essential medication, but nothing that might affect your bowel. The discovery icon at the bottom of the app is where you'll find the challenges. Challenges enable you to submit a breath test using the device. For SIBO patients, you'll need to prepare the Lactulose solution subscribed by human people. Make sure you contact them if you're unaware of this step. You can now start the relevant challenge. This will be the Lactulose for SIBO, unless you're allergic to lactose, in which case, use the glucose challenge. Double check you performed everything on the preparation checklist and then begin the test. The device can take five minutes to warm up to temperature. You will then be prompted to provide a test breath sample. You can follow along with the training section to help you get the hang of it. Hold down the large button on top of the device throughout the test. You will need to stop your breath for three seconds without inhaling. Then gently blow into the shiny section of the device for five seconds. This is a slow, steady breath as if you were trying to cool down soup. Once complete, you can then release the button. If your test sample is okay, you can continue on to the main test. If not, there will be instructions on how to repeat it after a short interval. You will then be prompted to take the lactulose solution you prepared earlier and begin the test. You will continue to provide samples every 15 minutes until the test is complete where all your results will then be sent through to human people for analysis. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch.